welcome back to Good Day's Dateline. We love when our friends from Meraki Salon pop by. Tonight, Brie is here. We're going to talk about hair extensions. Yes. Yes. Okay, so is there any time of year that's like the best time to get hair extensions? Um, Not really. Okay. Uh, there are pros and cons pretty much to everything that you do. I, I don't know, I feel like you have a lot more of events in the summer, so yes. I like having mine in the summer, but okay. I also like having them in the winter. It's kind of like a scarf on your neck, you know, <laughs> just built in. Yeah. I like the idea of like, you know, I know I know we're not like new year, happy new yearing anymore, but still kind of like new year, like new year, mm -hmm. like chop off the dead stuff and then put something on while, while you're growing it yeah. up. I yep. like that idea. Um, we have, there's a million different reasons why to get extensions and, you know, just kind of starting fresh is a huge one. Uh, lately, we've had a lot of COVID hair loss sure, um, and postpartum hair loss. I recently had a client who had a weight loss surgery, so she had rapid um, oh, weight yeah. loss, which caused a ton of um, thinning in her hair. So there's so many reasons, um, you know, if you're, you know, recovering from going through chemo and yeah. all that sort of stuff. Just. There's really a million reasons if you just want to look like a celebrity. Yeah, why I have not? yeah, I have clients <laughs> who have great natural hair, but they're like, I just want it to be like three feet longer. So <laughs> there's so many reasons. So tell me about the different types of hair extensions. Um, there's a million different types. Um, there are like the ones that you can do at your house, such as like clip in, there's mm -hmm. fake ponytail pieces. They've got the halo ones, which it's basically just like a clear band that goes around your hair okay. with like hair on the back kind of looks like a mullet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so those are some that you can do at home by yourself. In salon there's also a ton of different types. I'd say the most popular one would be tape in um, K-tip which would be keratin okay. and then there's eye tip which goes in with just like a bead. I actually brought some here. Okay. Um, so no heat, no glue on your hair. They're very gentle. How does it go in? So I didn't bring the beads, but That's you okay. actually put a little bead on the hair and you okay. put it in oh, the bead like, and clamp it. Like, mm -hmm. like a, one of those Lego connecting pieces. Yep, yep. <laughs> um, yeah. So these are super gentle. And the K-tip ones are similar to this, but instead of a bead, it's... Um, it's keratin that's kind of melted a okay. little bit to your hair. It's still pretty safe as long as you're gentle on your hair. And then I would say the most popular method right now are the hand-tied wefts. Um, they're pretty low maintenance as far as extensions go. You can go a lot longer without doing them. They're pretty seamless in your hair. Um, and yeah, they're just lower maintenance. You don't have to come in as often to get them Which moved Which is up. nice. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Let's face it, I like to be as low maintenance as possible. So My do I. My personality is high maintenance. So, so do like. I. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have done, um, I've done like the eye tips and they're great. They look flawless in the hair, sure. but you have to come in about every five, six weeks to get okay. them maintained. Whereas the wefts, I'd say eight, eight weeks is a okay. pretty good minimum. Um, I personally, my hair grows so slow, I can go like 12 weeks without having mine so touched it's up. Like, so and that's me, about that's how often amazing. you get your hair cut anyway, so you kind of yeah. have to go to the salon mm -hmm. anyway. Exactly, exactly. So I do have clients who get them and they do come in more often when they get their hair color done and so we'll just yeah. do it all at once so they don't have to make multiple appointments. But they are, they're amazing. Um, hair extensions hold curl a lot better than like your natural okay. hair so you can get away without styling it as much as sure. well. So. Um, so I'm guessing you recommend the salon hair extensions over the do-it-yourself at home. Yes, I do. And you know, there are, like I said, the clip-in methods. Those are great if you just have an event you need to like go to. Like a one-day thing. Exactly. Yeah. Um, they're pretty dummy-proof. There's a million YouTube tutorials on it. But if you're somebody, if you're going to be wearing them every day, yeah. I don't recommend it because you are going to put a lot of tension on your hair over time. So it is much better to go into a salon and get an actual, like, set of extensions well, for your hair. Well, like you want to, if you're going to spend money on it, you want it to look good. You don't yeah. want to be like, somebody's like, well, you look stupid. You did that yourself. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I would end up looking if I was going to just put hair extensions on. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, I definitely recommend salon 100%. Um, and even if you do just want to get clip-in extensions, say for an event, I would still ask your hairstylist for recommendations on brands. They can either okay. help you order them or they can steer you in the right direction of quality hair because you can pay for um, just a really cheap pair of hair, almost the same that you would pay for a nice set of extensions. Okay. Um, right off the bat, but also the cheaper hair, you're gonna have to replace a lot more often. So mm -hmm. in the long run, you're gonna end up spending a lot more money than if you just, you know, invested the 
a couple hundred dollars up front. I yeah. mean, I have a pair of clip-in extensions I've had for 10 years. I don't wear them anymore because I have like actual extensions in, yeah. but they're still in perfect condition if I were to ever pull them out for whatever reason, sure. so. See, you're an expert, and that's why we love having experts yeah. talk about this stuff because, you know, talk to Bree from Rocky Salon <laughs> if you have your hair extension questions. It's just easier than trying to figure it out yourself. 100%, yes, Nobody. 100%. And most salons offer free consultations for hair cool. extensions, so. All right, so how do we get in contact with you if we have some hair extension questions? The best way to reach me personally, I'm terrible at responding <laughs> to people, as my clients all know. The best way to reach us is just through our salon Facebook page. Okay. We don't have a receptionist at our salon every day, so sure. sometimes phone calls won't get returned for a few days. But Facebook comes straight to our phone, so we're always we're always there for I it. I love when we have guests on that explain you know what works for them, because you want to get in touch, yeah. you got to know what works you for you. You can try calling, but it might take five days for <laughs> us to get her. back. She won't talk to you. She I wants won't. A Facebook I message won't. It's fine. <laughs> Thanks, Bree, so much for Yeah, no in. problem. Thank Coming you. Coming up next on Tuesday Trends. Don't go anywhere.